Hey everybody, today I want to talk about how much power my 18 Q1 Pro print farm draws and some of the things that you can do to try to lower the amount of uh, power needed to run your print farm. There are some pros and cons uh, to, to the different methods of starting up and running the print, uh, and I'm going to cover uh, both of them here. Uh, just real quick. I am running the machines. I do have a an exhaust, a 1200 CFM exhaust, and I'm using a, a Samsung AI voice background noise remover. So if my voice sounds a little bit robotic, that's why. Um, but so what I have here is I have six individual circuits controlling three uh, feeding power to three printers. And the reason for that is because each one of those circuit breakers has a 20 amp breaker. Uh, is rated for 20 amps. And whenever I uh, set the three printers that are on one circuit to heat up together, it's 100 on the bed, 60 degrees Celsius on the chamber temperature, and then 265 on the nozzle. The nozzle doesn't really draw that much power, but the bed and the chamber, uh, chamber heater does. And when all three are heated together, uh, and they're all running 100% on, on the, the, the heater, they draw together about 18 amps. So if I wanted to add a fourth one and it's also heating, more than likely the breaker will trip. Now you can get around this by staggering the printers. So you heat up one printer until it reaches its set point. And then the, the amount of power going to the machine is not at 100% because it's just maintaining the temperature. So uh, you go from about six uh, six to seven, up, uh, actually five to six amps when heating up down to about three amps, uh, or two and a half amps. And you're able to, um, just run more once it's, it's, um, it's reach its target temperature. Now with 18 printers here, all heated up at the same time, uh, I have these current monitors uh, on my breaker panel, and I witnessed that 100 amps were being drawn when these machines were at uh, a cold, they were just cold, idle, room temperature, and uh, I wrote a software to control all of them and heat up at the same time, and it drew 100 amps. So that's a lot of power. Thankfully, I have a 200 amp service in my shop here, and I'm able to do that, but not everybody can, and so I wanted to make this video so that you're aware of how much power these printers actually draw. Now, going back to setting them to stagger, that works if if uh, if you only have a few printers. If if I had if I wanted to stagger all of these printers here, it would take me a long time. It would take me an hour to do that, and I, I just I don't have the time to sit here and wait for each one of these to do that. I probably could write some software to do that, but it, it, it's not worth the hassle right now. I just individually uh, set them in their own breakers. Um, so when you have more printers, staggering them kind of becomes a, a hassle. Um, but overall, you know, the Q1 Pro is an amazing machine, even though it draws a lot of power. If you can accommodate it and you're printing ABS, this is 100% the way to go, in my opinion. Um, because of the internal chamber heater, um, you're able to heat the chamber and also extract the ABS fumes uh, and vent it to the outside. So every single one of these printers is ducted. And I'll show you what that looks like behind the racks here. So every single one of these has um, every single one is ducted and they're all coming out from behind the racks and they're fed into these four inch booster fans. Now these are about 240 CFM each and I had to buy an extra one because this is good enough for 12 machines. But because I'm at 18, I had to put another six on a separate booster fan. And I created this manifold. This manifold has six uh, inlets 
into one, which then uh, gets fed into this 10 inch 1200 CFM booster fan. And it gets uh, pushed to the outside. That allows this, uh, my shop space to be, uh, have nice clean air. Um, I have space open, which draws air from the outside, nice fresh air. And I have air quality monitors, which overall I have pretty good air quality in here, despite running 18 printers, um, with ABS. The TVOCs on this one is off. Um, I have two other air quality monitors that read 0 0.01. Uh, TVOCs. So this one uh, I know is bad, but the uh, PM 2.5 is accurate because that's what the other three, the other two show. Um, so yeah, this is it's a pretty safe and effective way to print ABS, the Q1 Pro, an amazing machine, and um, it's been running nonstop. I have almost 4,000 hours on this top row, about 3,000 on this second row. And I just picked these up a couple weeks ago, and I'm almost at about a thousand hours or seven hundred around there. I haven't checked, but it's been an amazing machine, and uh, I have zero complaints. So I just want to make this video for anybody that's worried about power consumption. Three Q1 Pros at 120 volts, heated up 100% on the heaters, bed, chamber, nozzle draws about 18 amps and then when it's at just just printing and maintaining it drops to uh, about eight amps uh for three of them hopefully this information was useful and good luck building your print farm thanks guys